Mari Cooper is gone. Um, let me see if I can make this make sense. Good people, it's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk, right back like I never left. Um, I was trying to chill. This team ceases to amaze me, man. Every time. <sighs> I'm chilling with the fam. Trying to enjoy my Saturday. I see the alert. I look at my phone. Take a deep breath. Go straight to Twitter. Watch the whole Cowboys Nation meltdown. Meltdown. <sighs> Contemplate day drinking. Contemplate getting the drink going at like 2 p.m. Straight up. <sighs> Amari Cooper traded to the Browns, man. For a fifth? A fifth? And you swap six? So basically a fifth? Are you serious? Now listen. Listen, I understand y'all frustration. I do. I've been saying Amari Cooper's going to be gone for weeks. A whole, bunch of, a whole bunch of people in the media have been saying, he's not necessarily gone yet. Yes, yes he is. Um, but all I wanted, all I wanted was to get something for him if we had to. Because I saw, this was like a car crash. And I saw the car crash coming, you know. And try my best to just brace for the impact. Because I knew this was coming. I knew he was going to be gone like I said, anybody that's been following my channel has been hearing me basically talk as if he was gone. I just wanted to get something for him. That's something I thought would have been a third or a fourth round pick. So the fifth round pick does sting. It makes this even worse. It's like bracing for a car car crash, and right before you hit the brick wall, you get sideswiped by a tractor trailer. So yeah, you got in a car crash, but you got smacked from a blind side. You ain't even see it coming. That's what this feels like. It's painful. Um, I don't know what to say, man. I would love, first of all, if you're watching the video, man, please let me know what you think in the comments. Please take your time. If you say you hate the trade, you like the trade, ideas on why we did the trade, I would love to hear y'all comments, man. If y'all don't think I don't read them, y'all lying to yourself. I, I do appreciate when you take time to comment. Let me know what you're thinking, even if you don't agree with me. Um, as far as... What's next for the Cowboys, man? Y'all also hear that Lyle Collins has been given permission to seek a trade. That's a whole nother video session in itself. I told y'all, Lyle Collins, man, not only has his play been slipping, you know, his, his behavior has been bad. And when you, you, you a contracted employee, man, you got bad behavior and your performance is down. And think about what they would do with your job if you had bad behavior. You know what I'm saying? Calling out, cursing at employees, et cetera, et cetera. Something like that. Um, and then, and then, you know what I'm saying? You have a bad attitude when you do get to work. That's how it's been coming off with Lyle Collins. It's been bad. So they're saying that he could seek a trade. Now, I don't know what we can get for Lyle Collins, but I feel like it should be more than Coop, mainly because of the contract. See, Coop's thing messed us up because his contract was so much. That's why teams is like, yo, man, you better take what we can give you. That's exactly what happened. It's like, take what you can get. Or keep them. You can keep them. Pay them the 20. You're trying to get rid of that contract, Cowboys. We know you are. So if you're trying to get rid of the contract, I'll help you. You can get this fifth and this six-round swap. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not giving you no great picks. You want to get that contract off by any means necessary. Because the Cowboys are stupid, and they put out there that they would cut him. They should have kept this quiet and just started to try to deal him. No one would have known you was trying to cut him. You would have got him off, got a better pick, probably got a second or third. But did, did you cut your nose off to spite your face by slandering this man for two months, having people leak in the media, saying that he did, he, 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 he taking plays off, he's not putting forth effort, and you want somebody to give you a second-round pick? Come on, Cowboys. Front office knew what was happening. We're salvaging the situation. No, you're stupid. You're stupid. 
and we got fleeced. We got something for it, you know, but we got fleeced. Now, Lyle Collins, man, because his contract is so low for a starting right tackle, hopefully we can get a third or fourth round pick. Now, I'm going to say second. I think we should deserve a second. I feel like we should be able to finagle a first. But because how did the Cowboys do business? I'm praying for a third or a fourth. That's sad. That's all I, I that's the only thing I have faith in. We got a third round pick. I might celebrate because, you know, and that's sad. I should be able to think we can get a second for Lyle. But we're going to see. Well, let me try to do my best to spin this in a positive, you know. I know y'all tired of the whining. Positive, positive, positive. We were getting rid of Mark Cooper anyway. You got to just digest it and understand it. He was going to be gone. As great as he is, as great as you want him to be, he's not. he wasn't going to be on this team. So once you get over that, you start thinking, what's, what's, what can we do? Obviously, we can go draft the, grab the receiver. I want Traylon Burks. Y'all know I do. Future videos for that, because now I really feel like it's possible. I want Traylon Burks if he get to us. I'll take Chris Olave. Um, I'll take Drake London. I think we should go for a first round pick, second round pick, bare minimum. Between the first and the second, we need to get that receiver. Period. And because we're getting rid of a starting offensive lineman, we need to go offensive line receiver. The beautiful thing about a Cowboys Nation is there will be best player available, BPA at both positions in both times of the draft. We will be fine. First and second round, we will be fine. We will be able to find a starting um, guard, which is what I think we'll need because we got Terrence Steele, and we'll be able to find a receiver. No question. It's just the question is who? Who we going to get? You know what I'm saying? Who we going to get? If we don't go Burks, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, actually, let me switch to this. Let me switch to this. Let's just focus on the pick, the fifth-round pick. If that fifth-round pick turns into a starting caliber tight end, and you know this tight end draft is deep, right? If we get one of these, like Dees Jr. or one of those late-round tight ends, and he really becomes a serviceable great tight end, maybe two years from now we'll feel good about the trade. Maybe. But that's the only thing I can hope for. Or us having that extra pick will allow for us to go for a tight end in the third or the fourth, because we know we got an extra fifth, and we can fill, fill one of those other positions in the fifth. I know, that's, that's a poor way of trying to... Look, I'm trying to make this look positive. You know, we got the contract off. Well, the real positive thing is this, man. If we do move Lyle Collins, get a trade, get a third for him, right? Get a third. Right? That saves us, what, $15 million, $14 million on the cap? Right? We've moved with Mark Cooper. That's sixteen million over the cap, right? That's thirty million. We're already two million over the cap right now. We move Antonio. We move Anthony Brown. That's another five, right? That's thirty-seven million. If the Cowboys bring back Curse, pay Curse properly, right? Simon Lee Cooker, right? Get me a DN, whether it's Randy Gregory at a decent price or someone off the off the um, free agency market. And then they find a way with the newfound money. If the new, if the trade is we got rid of Amari Cooper, C.D. Lamb becomes the one. Cedric Wilson becomes a two for now. If we resign him, we find a two. But we go out with the extra money, and this is if I know if it was a fifth, we all be drunk. I know it's a big if, but I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> if we use that extra newfound money to sign Bobby Wagner. And at the end of the day, you feel like, okay, we lost Coop so that we can sign Bobby Wagner. Would you feel better? Be honest with yourself. I know right now the bandages got ripped off. It still hurt. You ain't trying to talk about all this, all these possibilities. But I'm trying to be positive because I'm pissed right now. And I'm probably going to go have a drink after this. But would you be happy if you lost Coop and you got to wrap your mind around C.D. Lamb and a new receiving core as far as new, newly structured receiving core? But you get Bobby Wagner because we have extra money. And they sign him to like a two-year deal because he's like 30-something. Not a four or five year, like a two-year deal. And he, and he takes less. He takes like eight, nine million instead of the, the 11, 12. If you get Bobby Wagner, I feel all right. I feel better. I'm going to keep it honey with you. I do. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. If we get Bobby Wagner because of this, I'll be happy. 
But um, we probably won't. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. I try. Um, it's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. Never a day off. I holla.